Hey everyone, Table Flip here, and coming with a new video today that it's been long overdue, I'd say. It's been at least two weeks, I'd want to say. I haven't actually checked, but um, nonetheless, here comes a video. And I've had, um, I haven't gained a ton of photo level or anything, but I have made a considerable amount of progress towards maxing and just towards my goals. As you can see from this hood I'm wearing, I did finish 99 mining. It does kind of look like a hunter hood now that I think about it, or a smithing hood. But besides that, um, 99 mining has been achieved, guys. Uh, so I moved on, and I'm starting to do some smithing. Just getting. Um, it started out actually getting 99 magic which I got the same day as I got 99 mining because I was only like 400k away so I decided to just superheat some gold ore and then after I finished 99 magic I realized I was pretty close to 85 smithing I believe it was so I decided to come here to do some blast furnace um, which is considerably faster than just superheating which I was doing to train my magic but um, so I've uh, I'm not sure how I obtained all the gold ore. Most of it was from Mother Gold Mine, but um, I bought some of it. I don't know how much I bought, but I have the gold ore now for 88 gold. Or sorry, 88 smithing, and I'm gonna finish 88 smithing in the next two and a half hours, probably maybe less. But um, so finishing 88 smithing is my current plan right now. Then I'm going to maybe move on to 91 smithing while I continue farming. Um, I'm kind of low on the saplings. I should plant some more. I have been using payments, and just because Zola is making seeds so cheap, I don't want to, like, I don't really see a reason why not to. So I am 86 and a half farming right now. Whoops. And closing in on 88 smithing. Which leads me to my um, uh, kind of like a struggle. I don't know what I want to do next. I'm definitely leaning towards finishing 91 smithing just because it's an elite diary requirement. Um, I'm not necessarily going for all of those right away, but I don't think it would be a bad thing to have them. Uh, I believe it's going to be one for the Varrock diary. So, don't know what that has use for me really but um cannonballs definitely <laughs> so um 91 mine or er, smithing is what I'm leaning towards right now and I'm finishing 91 I think it's 91 farming um but I'm going for 99 farming I just don't have that amount of money right now I'll be making some money on the way like through Zola which I have done quite a few number of kills I'm now to about 120 kill count. I'll probably make my own video on Zolra, but um, no luck yet. Sorry to spoil it. Next uh, order of business, I guess, would be where I'm going to go next. And I have a different number of options, like a lot of different numbers of options, and I have it narrowed down to, I think, which I'm gonna do. I've uh, just finished a big goal with like 280 something hours in motherload mine and 20 hours of granite. And I died a little bit when I did granite, so I'm not saying that I was. I should have done granite the whole time. I definitely don't um, <clears throat> regret doing motherload mine at all. I made a ton of money doing it, um, and no regrets. But um, so I'm gonna throw myself into another big big goal of mine I believe I'm gonna go for 99 agility now which leads me with um, leaves me sorry with one thing that would be logical to do after 99 agility which would be finish out 99 rune crafting on this account because uh, in the abyss the way it works is if you're um, using an obstacle, the obstacle you use, it checks a certain level, like the agility shortcut checks agility, mining 
blockage checks mining. And there's fire making wood cut, but I don't use those. I don't think anybody does besides bots. But um, so if I have 99 mining and 99 agility, um, it adds one to my level, and that's my percent chance of getting through. So I would have a hundred percent chance of getting through every time I went through, which would definitely increase XP per hour and money per hour. So it's definitely logical to be uh, 99 before you start doing runecrafting, which I obviously didn't do, but um, yeah. So 99 runecrafting and agility, I think, are what are going to be coming next. So that will leave me with only like two really big stats left being Slayer with like 180 plus hours. I don't think it's actually how many hours it says it will be with um, Crystal Math Labs EHP because of the blow dart gun and I believe that's going to change your XP per hour. Um, not just because it is a faster weapon and uh, I believe it's more DPS uh, than the whip or Staff of the Dead or anything like that but it also increases your accuracy with cannon and that's gonna help a lot as well so um, I am pushing myself towards pretty large goals right now and I'm I'm getting ahead of myself in word by like literally a couple hundred hours so I'm going to have to work a lot for these goals so Either there's not going to be much content, or I'm going to have to not go directly for these goals. And I want that to be kind of up for, to you guys. I, I do want to stick to one goal, but um, if it makes you guys happier and I make better content by doing multiple skills, then I will consider doing that. Because, like, I'm only 30 hours off of... 99th eating, so like I could do stats like that along with agility, and then with um, runecrafting, obviously, I'll make some money so I can do stats like smithing to 99 and crafting and herbore. But um, so that's my plan right now, and um, I want to know what you guys think of it. So 99 agility, then 99. Runecrafting, then viables, pretty much. But um, if you guys would rather me do some of the faster, um, like gathering skills like thieving and hunter, I will definitely consider it. I am not saying I'm going to do them, but uh, that was one of my ideas I had when I was thinking of what I want to do next. But um, see you guys later, and... Hopefully I'll be more consistent with my video making, and sorry that I haven't been. See you guys around.